Hey guys, in this video we are going to install Solark 15k with 30 kilowatt hours battery backup from a stack rack. Batteries with cabinets are gonna weigh about 800 pounds, so I need to pour a thick concrete pad to hold this weight. For pad base I'm going to use 2x8 lumber. Now we can mix concrete, uh, we are using 50 pounds bags and for this project we did use about 13 bags. And in the middle of pour I'm adding a steel mat to prevent future cracking. At the same time, inserted four anchor bolts to mount cabinet. After concrete cured, we can install outdoor rated cabinet and uh, it can hold up to six server rack batteries. So total capacity of the batteries is going to be 30 kWh. Cabinet itself is very convenient, it has two doors. One door to load all the batteries and the second door on the right to connect all batteries together. For current electrical we have main and sub panel, also we have generator installed here and customer wants to remove generator and the power sub panel with the solar and the batteries. For AC disconnect I'm going to use double throw switch from Siemens, so servicing system is going to be easier and additionally we can add another source of power in the future if we want. Now I'm going to run wires from main panel to AC disconnect, then to solar unit and uh, from solar to sub panel. Now we can mount solar unit and uh, we have pretty tight space for installation. Next step after mounting solar, we can install wireway and run wires from AC disconnect and to sub panel. Battery cabinet has one and a quarter inch knockouts on the right side, but in my case it didn't work, so I'm making new knockout on the back side of the cabinet. If you are planning to install Solark 15K, I highly recommend you to get these bus bars for the batteries. So you have to run only two wires to battery instead of four wires if you are not using those bus bars. After connecting batteries on the bus bars located on the top of the cabinet, we can run wires to connect battery cabinet to Solark unit. After connecting power wires, communication and ground, we can turn on batteries. Client has two PV systems installed, one with microinverters in phase system and second string inverter. So we're going to route two systems to solar, one is going to be AC coupled and the second system is going to be DC coupled. Right now I'm rewiring in-phase combiner box and uh, will run those wires to solar generator input for AC coupling. System with string inverter has three strings coming from a roof, so I'm gonna run six wires from a solar to the system to connect all three strings. And now wiring of solar is finished and here is the final result with protective cover. Now we can test our setup. I'm going to simulate power outage by flipping 100 amp breaker which is powering solar and uh, it's immediately switched to PV power and battery backup. Alright guys, that's all about this setup. I hope you'll find something useful here. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask them. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.